So we are here with Issa Amro, who is a very well-known, amazing activist in Hebron, who has been beaten, jailed by the Israeli military. When we are in Congress, many Congress people tell us everything was fine before the Hamas attack on October. How would you answer that? No. Our problem didn't start in October 7th. Our history didn't start in October 7th. We lost our land. Many Palestinians became refugees from 48. Then in 1967, then in the first Intifada, the Abraham Mosque massacre, the second Intifada, 2015. I am living, I'm 44. I never saw freedom. I never saw a good day for me in Palestine. We live under Israeli military, Israeli apartheid, Israeli brutality. They are stealing our culture, they are stealing our land, they are stealing our uh, kids' future. They are stealing our narrative as well. And it's before October 7th. What happened in October 7th was part of what was happening to Palestinians since very long time. We are uh, losing land every day. I was attacked, tortured, beaten on October 7th, and nobody's talking about it. I was dismissed and expelled from my house on October 7th, and I was expelled and dismissed from my parents' house after the Ibrahimi Mosque massacre, when Baruch Einstein broke into the Ibrahimi Mosque and killed 29 Palestinians and hundreds were injured. And the result of that massacre was to punish the victims, who are the Palestinians, to close the markets, to close the streets, and make my own town as a ghetto for the Palestinians, not for the Israeli Kahanists, who now became the main uh, decision makers in Israel and control our water. They control how much water we consume. They control our electricity. We don't have enough electricity in England and in, in West Bank. They control how much food we eat as Palestinians. The import, the export, it's all under the control of the Israeli occupation before October 7th. So they control all details of our life and we live in a different sets of law. One for civilian law for the Israeli settlers, my neighbors. The Israeli neighbors who are illegally in my in our land, they, 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 they have a privilege of the civilian law, and we, the Palestinians, under the Israeli military law, and it's before October 7th. And the military law means you are guilty until you are proving innocent, and violence resistance is not allowed, and they treat you as a human animal. So we visited you uh, in your home. We saw how there were Israeli checkpoints and soldiers right at your home. We saw how difficult it is for you to bring visitors to show what's happening there. Uh, these young Israeli gangs that we see in this movie now, they, it seems they have become more brazen since October 7th. Have things gotten worse since then? Yes, much worse. The Israeli gangs and the Israeli, the Israeli settler thugs became the government. Itamar Bingvir, we never expected he will be the Israeli National Security Minister. Itamar Bingvir was not allowed to be part of the Israeli military because of his fascism and because of his extreme uh, ideology. Now, he's the Israeli National Security Minister. He has many supporters, he has many Knesset uh, uh, members supporting him and backing up his crazy fascist ideologies. This fascism now is in the government. They are the lawmakers, they are the decision makers, they are in the government, they are in the police, they are in the military, they are all over in the Israeli media and in the Israeli public. So what should uh, we be pushing the U.S. government to do? Thank, uh, first, I want to thank you media and all the movement in the United States and what they are doing. To be very honest, for the first time my people in the ground see you doing great work. We are very proud of what you are doing. We feel much stronger. We feel that we are not alone. The university students, the activists, uh, uh, everywhere on all levels, you are doing great. We feel stronger. We, will, we, we get energy and power from you. What I ask you to be more united, to be, uh, you know, more creative in how to make the occupation uh, and apartheid uh, costly and, and keep the, fighting the occupation uh, as part uh, of your daily routine as you do and to be proud of yourself because we are very proud of you.